Hey YouTube friends, rebuilding the filter condenser bank. I'm starting here with uh, taking the remaining wires off and uh, there's only a couple left and there is like, uh, here, here's two more, there's a resistor and that green wire. So I got it all off, I took the bolts out, four bolts hold that on, so um, it just came out really easy. And here's here it is my hand. It weighs about about a pound, I figure. And they made this thing really good. This radio is built really really good. And here you can see where it was and how shiny the the chassis is where where it was. So uh, that's what the chassis looked like. And there's the uh, the original uh, Filco filter electrolytic capacitor. So. This is where I made a mistake. I started grinding off these rivets here, and I did grind off the rivet, and I didn't really have to. It, this was a mistake, so I included it so you guys don't make the same mistake I did. So, see, I, I ground them off, but in reality, uh, I thought they, that was riveted on, but it, but it's really not. See, what it, what it does is it uses the... Uh, the four bolts that hold the can on just to hold everything secure just compresses everything but you do have to cut the ground wire that comes out of out of that whole epoxy thing to the can and believe it or not this whole thing slid right out uh, I guess they put the wax paper in there and they epoxied it when the paper was in there's some epoxy residue in there so that makes me think they put the paper in first and they thought about rebuilding the thing later on. We, they, you're able to slide the thing right out. So what I gotta do is take these wires off here, kind of cut them off, and there it is. You know, this thing was kind of made like a cake in different sections. Then they epoxied it all in there. But I'm glad they used that wax paper. So now what I gotta do is uh, get the uh, the little wire strands off where the wires were where the wires were from the capacitor. But to rebuild this thing, you need the trifecta multimedia, and you need pictures, and you need uh, pictorial diagrams, and you need the original uh, schematic to, um, to rebuild this thing. You need all, all three of these things here. And uh, what I plan to do is just populate the new components in here and what I'm going to do is utilize the the unused um, terminal on the other side for all the ground connections now what I got today was the revision B of the original schematic for model 122 and this is service bulletin number 165 revision B so this has some pretty good changes in it and I also got a box in from uh, antique electronic supply I ordered some stuff and I ordered some capacitors uh, and some resistors too and the stuff was on sale this month so I might as well get some of the stuff so this is a 0.47 microfarad capacitor and I'm going to use that for the 0.5 microfarad capacitor and that's used for sections C and D and this new schematic shows it very plainly uh, this is this is a very good thing to have this uh, revision B so uh, things are made a lot more clearer in it like here's the old schematic and it just shows A, B, C, D, and E but it doesn't show the orientation of the terminals so this is the new schematic and some of the new pictorial uh, diagram and the pictures here are actually better so anyway I'm gonna start and I'm starting on this uh, section C capacitor it's right in the middle and that's what I'm going to use the 0.47 microfarad capacitor instead of the 0.5 microfarad capacitor and what I also have to do is trace the wiring and uh, there's the green wire, one of the last wires I took off 
and then I'm going to use the pictures. I'm trying to combine everything together so I don't make any mistakes and I'm like double checking everything. So I'm using the, uh, the pointer here and I'm going to follow this wire uh, through the radio and I f followed it through and it there it goes. It hooks to that 100k resistor. So I found that on the pictorial diagram and I used the schematic too and this is how this capacitor is going to go in for capacitor C. So just uh, playing here, I'm just seeing what, what it's going to look like here. And the bottom left terminal is going to be for the grounds. So I'm just kind of comparing it here again. I just really don't want to make any mistakes on this, so I'm double checking everything. And I'm also checking all the capacitors before I put them in there. Uh, make sure they all go to infinity and they charge up good. So this is this one is going to be capacitor D. So I'm just kind of placing them in there, and um, I'm just kind of bending the tang around there. But I'm not going to solder them yet because I want to make sure that uh, there's no mistakes. And what I also did was I soldered the rivets so they're um, not going to come out or anything. So here's another capacitor. I'm just going through. This is a 2.0 microfarad capacitor and it lists, it shows all the different sections on a schematic and you just have to locate them and uh, see where, where they go on the schematic and the parts list, etc. Now here's another one. This is section E and that's a 1.0 microfarad capacitor in between those two resistors. Now this this capacitor is brand new but it has some leakage on it so uh, I end up using the French the French one which was built really good and that was a uh, metallized film capacitor and these are not polarized and neither are, are the orange ones but these electrolytics these electrolytics are polarized and uh, they are like a little leaky and I'm not going to use them and uh, the French one is good because that was for 630 volts and that's going to go in the in the B plus line and there is there is the 2.0 which I'm going to use like the French one the metallized uh, polyester and then that goes to the center tap and that's all B plus so it's good that was 630 volts so it's definitely overrated so I got one electrolytic I'm going to use I'm going to use that where the oscillator is it's just 53 volts plate to cathode so I got everything populated correctly and the white lead uh, is heat shrink and I position it away from the other one, the other leads and on the left is the small electrolytic capacitor and that one tested good and I just observed polarity so now I'm sticking it into the can make sure it all fits in nicely and nothing hits and all that and there's plenty of room and so I took it out and I put electrical tape around it and mainly that's to keep everything steady when I'm soldering. I don't want cold solder joints. So I'm doing one more check. I'm checking everything again before I solder it. Because once I solder it, that's it. And uh, I'm just, you know, just taking my time. You know, it's like kind of like a one-shot deal. And then I pulled up the um, the pictures I had and just checked everything again with the wiring you can't check things enough so I checked things like about four times and now what I'm doing is I'm soldering the ground wire on on the inside and now after it's soldered I put this uh, heat sink uh, little clamp on it so that because I gotta turn it around and solder the other side I don't want the heat to transfer through to the to the part where I just soldered so those those little heat sinks are really good so I got everything soldered up. Now I'm soldering on the the ground wire. I'm using that helping hand thing to hold it steady. And there it is. I got that all soldered and I'm going to finish soldering the ground wire. There it is there. So I got a nice smooth, you know, it's not a cold joint and everything's really soldered good. So now what I did was I just um, 
put it all together in the can, fit in really nicely. Just tested that out and got the orientation right. And now it's just a simple matter, just reinstalling the can. There is uh, four bolts that hold it on. So I did the side first, then I did the top. And I just kind of worked around, you know, side and top, and just tightened it in nice and even. Kind of did the side again, you know, so it torques in, you know, nice. And um, that's pretty much it. And then I tested continuity with the chassis uh, to the can. So that tested zero, so good continuity. So it's all ready to, um, to solder up the rest of the wires to it. So tackle up tomorrow. Take it easy, folks, and have a great day. Bye bye.